thirsty? It's lunch. -a? What is it free? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just blazing. Wow. Wow. That's bad. Oh. Okay, so this is outside of the guest house. And there's the overview of this town as you're walking out of the, uh, the guest house heading back in. So we're going to basically go to the uh, shopping center where we got dropped off on. I am going to look for some funds, find an ATM, and then we'll get a bus back in towards the uh, city center. Maybe we'll walk around the falls a little bit before and catch one of the buses a little bit closer out. So brought my big stick so let's test this one out as I'm walking see how that goes let me play with it and see if the different views so it'll be a work in progress so we're coming into the uh, Kennedy Center as there's a Tim Hortons with the drive-thru over there haven't seen one of those on a standalone since Canada a long time ago Now we're just going to try to find an ATM to work. I went to the one, there was one outside by the post office and it didn't work. So and there we are. There's the hill behind us. There's the old Timmy's. And here's the shopping center. And there's Danska Bank. So fingers crossed on this one working. And there's the Kennedy Center. So where's the bank? On the outside or the inside? And then we'll head out. Do, 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 do. Is there a bank there? Uh, probably inside. Automatic door. Okay. Here's an ATM. Let's give her a shot. Result. Happy day. Here's a few mural signs in the it's the first green I came up against. So here's what it looks like. And, and this is the direction we head in to go towards the city center again. I'm on the correct side of the lane for the bus. Now feeling a little bit thirsty after traveling all day still hungry too but I think maybe a pint of Guinness might go without harm so we're walking we'll go across here so we're at a roundabout so we have to watch ourselves So we're we'll turn it off there. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Take a look. We'll go this way. I don't know. There's a cemetery there. Car breakers yard or mechanic. Oh no, the bus service. And we'll keep walking along. Hello. Here's where we get the bus. Decisions. Do we take the bus now or keep walking? Um, here's where Falls Park is. Your man said there's a big festival in August here for like 10 days straight in the beginning of August. And this is all filled up with music and that. So if you're wanting to come up to Belfast, he said August was definitely a good time of year to do so. My two legs are feeling well, my ankle's not hurting me, so let's keep going. 
make sure you remember hit that uh, like button hit the bell to be notified of my videos and subscribe I want to get up to a thousand as soon as we can now it's been just past seven months that I've, my channel's been going um, doing really well I have just under 4,000 hours of watch time which is one of the criteria you need to be monetized the other one is the subscribers so as of this morning I was 315 so we still have 685 to go so hit that subscribe button and help me get up there I'm going to turn it off now while we walk in a little closer and if I see something I'll turn on the old camera it should be on but I think we'll stop here I'm going to go into the rock bar and give it a chance and see what a pint of Guinness tastes like so I got a first pint here and I stopped in uh, Jared and Mick bought it for me and gave me some finger food there so I'm going to give it a shot thirsty slancha oh, and look outside it's starting to rain so I made it just in time that was very good good pint of Guinness cost me nothing your man paid for it for me uh, Jared he runs the place he said and uh, he also runs a hotel that's around here the Beachville very nice um, said part of it's a listed building the little booths they had it was very very uh, well put together so I'm gonna keep on walking down to Falls we're gonna see if we can get a, a mural to uh, use as a thumbnail down there's the, the Mike man so we're on the right side for the bus if we decide to take the bus but I want to walk a little way still and see what we get up to It started to rain there and then it stopped so right now it's not raining and the sun's trying to make its way out I think there was supposed to be two hours where we were gonna get some rain but uh, the rest of the evening should be uh, dry now when I was walking along it was quite warm and uh, inside my rain jacket that I'm wearing the new one it's actually quite damp on the sleeves so we'll have to keep an eye on that I don't want to get soaked inside so now we're at the Beachview Park let's keep walking on heading down towards the town let's see where we're at there we're going West Belfast Sports and Social Club. So we'll keep walking down a bit. And so there's the West Belfast Sports and Social Club. Keep walking down. So somewhere around there, we'll get the next bus around there into the town. We're not in no rush, no hurries. You can see what it looks like. Some flats over there. Starting to rain still again. Can't seem to get away from the rain, but you see this, there is some blue coming out. I'm going to turn it off for a bit. There's not much happening here. We're going to get closer to the next part. I'll turn it back on. There's some more murals here. And then there's some murals there. Let's go over. It's absolutely bucketing down now.
not a great day for a walk, but we must persevere. There's a cute uh, Vespa. Cool. And keep going up. Go there as we keep walking. Brooks. I say it's book busy with the uh, little Cheltenham Festival going on. And we'll keep going. The rain seems to be uh, lightening up, so maybe we're in luck. Still walking down the Falls Road. There's the Red Devil. And then that road goes down. There's a big, big spiral thing there. Spear. Sixty-eight. What? I was going to say maybe it's number 68, but it's not. I guess maybe they have 68 items on their list, on their menu, I don't know. And then, there's a nice old building. Unless it's 168 maybe? I don't know. And we keep walking. Dash Coffee. Well, Dash Coffee is not operating. And we'll just keep walking down. We should be getting close to something here. And then I'll uh, hop into the town. We'll see what's happening around Belfast City on Patty's Eve. And then we'll make our way back towards the uh, guest house. Have an early night. Tomorrow morning we'll wake up and see what's happening around the falls and then head into the uh, city center and then head home. So we'll see what goes on. I noticed something happening at the, uh, the supermarket with the kids and that in the falls. Uh, Peter had texted me some information on WhatsApp. So I'll be taking a look at that as we get closer. Coming closer to the uh, hospitals, I think. Okay. Yeah, Children's Hospital stop. We'll get the next one because uh, by the time I bought the ticket, it'd been there and passed. So we'll get the next one in six minutes. So we'll walk down six minutes worth and then take the glider into Belfast City. St. Dominican's Sisters Convent. St. Dominic's, St. Dominic's, Grammar School for Girls, about 1870, that's what it is. So we'll take a look what's going on downtown. Your man said you had to get tickets for that concert, it was free, but you had to get tickets and it sold out. So we'll see what it looks like from the outside. 
I'm sure we'll be able to hear it. And I brought the Oanga extension, the, uh, the GoPro stick. So I should be able to get it above the fence. Today. Take a sneaky peek what's inside. A lot of traffic, you see. Nice getting a good walk after being on the bus for about almost three hours and then the train for another two and a half three hours so good to stretch the old legs you know there's the uh, glider that I'm gonna have to take so here's a little bap shop the hatch I guess that's for coffee over here by the ticket I could have jumped in there but we'll get the next one this should be the hospital stop yeah Royal Hospital now we're getting close to the park Chapel to the left. West End Man's Wedding and Formal Hire. Cavendish Square. Subway. Cleaning up with closing up the lead books. You see the sun in the city? The cranes of Harlan and Wolf in the background. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up. The two yellow cranes that you see. That's where the Titanic was built. Chicken licking. <laughs> Windmill, British Gardens. Oh, yeah. There's some nice murals there. There's Selby's, that's the fish and chips place. There's two G1s back to back. I wonder if they're caught up because of traffic. Could be. Traffic is very, very congested. Like I said, that bus up the head, you know, it was two stops back and it's not that much further than me walking. Royals Bar and what do we have here? And says, go ahead, I'm going. Go to this bar, it doesn't look open. Now you got some more Hattie's Day tri colors and stuff for sale for tomorrow. the road. Keep going. Damn it. GAC. I think it's Gaelic's Athletic Club. It's a little congested here. Just keep walking. I think we're getting close to the point where couldn't even be ours to uh, 
Take a bus. We're almost there. We're almost getting there. Yale School. So that's an Irish language school. Sinn Féin Shore. There's Bobby Sands. Here, we'll take another uh, picture of your man. Just straighten up this. Okay, let's see what it's like. There we go. I'm back. I'm back again. So, hasn't been that long since 26th of December was the last time I was here. So now I'm back. And there's the mural that started it all. It started all the uh, interest in the vlog. So that's why I came back to uh, the Falls Road. And then now we can make our way to the bus. And we'll take the bus into downtown. So we'll buy a ticket on the, uh, the G1. And that'll bring us right into Belfast. jumped on the city bus not the uh, one for the glider and this one was one pound seventy for a ticket which is cheaper than the glider the glider is 210 and it'll go down right to the city center so happy days okay, so we're just outside Starbucks in Costa Grand Espresso Bar so I guess they like the coffees here so we're gonna walk around towards the city hall and see what's happening around there Look for a place to get something to eat. Maybe a drink. The man shack. There's neat barbers. There's a G2. We don't want a G2. We haven't found a G1 on the way back. We'll see how it goes. There's the Tim Hortons. Stopped by here uh, during a visit with Emily. I have to say, I was impressed. Didn't remind me of the same Tim Hortons back in Canada. The water was not the greatest. Or the coffee, I mean, it tastes like water. So, here we are. There's the city hall. I don't know where the concert's supposed to be. A lot of people heading that way. We'll take a look. What's going on? I would like to go to a place and take off my jacket for a while. My jacket's really wet inside because of the walking. So if I went inside out for a bit, I remember there used to be a great little bus. Um, not bus. A uh, great pub. Um, I had to try to find it. That's another story. There's where you can go for your visitor information, the Game of Thrones tour. walking across. There's the city hall right there. Yeah, it doesn't look like much is happening there. Now, as they mentioned the Crescent Key, so that would be over there somewhere. Okay. I'm going to get my boundaries. Find out where I want to go.
okay, so I had a Burger King. They had a lot of different options there, but I just wanted something quick and easy. And you can see it's all pretty busy around the square. I just went to the, uh, the supermarket upstairs. There's, there's Elvis there. <laughs> well, an attempt of Elvis. Okay, so what I need to do... Find my way towards the buses. Head my way back. I'm kind of tired from the day that's in it. You know, started up, I got up around 5 in the morning. And it's uh, after 5 now. So what I want to do is maybe head my way back towards West Belfast. And uh, maybe stop and get a pint and have an early night and get up in the morning and then we'll see what happens in the Falls Road area on uh, Patty's Day and then we'll make our way back towards the city center for the parade at 1 30 and then head back towards Wexford. Here's a shot my friend Niall would love. And then there's Kex. And there's Cafe Nero, my favorite coffee shop. Here's where what the festival was. It was on the Crescent Key, not on the City Hall. But like I said, you need tickets for it. They were free, but... So we can uh, try a cheeky move here. Let's take a look at these buses here. stilts there. Oh yeah, there's a band on the key there. Does this go uh, westbound? The G, this, the slider there, does that go to west? Uh, for west you would need to go a bit further, there is another station. Oh yeah? Yeah, because this one goes east. This one goes to the yeah. short strand area? Yep, so you would need to go... Because we're here, right? Uh, here. Okay, yep. so, so, so we are here at yeah, the yeah, yeah. square house. So you would need to go for west, you would need to go here. May Street. May Street. Okay. Just, All right. If you go to the traffic light, yeah. take left and keep going left. Okay. As soon as you pass it, Granad Granadis. Yeah. So it will be next traffic light to the right. Okay. So May Street. Right. Okay. okay. Thanks a lot. Well, there we go. So we found our way to the bus stop home. And like I said, there's the music for the Paddy's Day weekend. Live music, so I don't have to worry about copy strike. Strike. And, uh, 
there's a pub there, so I'm gonna go back this way. To the lights. <laughs> there. Going. So. Nice Too bad the weather is not that great for the event. But we'll keep going. Like I said, I'm tired. Why you said you need tickets for that? And I don't have tickets, so but don't fancy standing out in the rain. Fancy making my way back to the west and uh, having a pint or two make my way back to the guest house and uh, put my feet up, relax and get started in the morning so now let's make our way to the, uh, the west side for the bus here's a neat little part I wanted to show you the, the fountain there in yellow bright yellow sticks out at you and it's right beside Biddle's Bar this is an interesting little pub it's like a very narrow it's at the corner and when we pass by it you'll see what I mean how short it is so there's the uh, the fountain right there beside Victoria Square and there's Middles Bar see how narrow it is and I'm on a quest for the May Street We'll see where that is. I don't know if it was the last one. I don't think so. Let me take a look. I don't know what this is. It's a big old building, yeah. anyways. Granny Annie's Kitchen. That looks like an interesting place to have grub. Right across from the good old Cafe Nero. Looks like Granny Annie's would be like your home cooked type meals. I don't know, leave a comment if you know what it is, if you've eaten there before. But it's right on the main. Not too far from everything. Victoria Street. Big oval building there, don't know what that is. Okay. Now, we'll see if it's this one. If it's not this one, I give up. No, I don't. I will never give up. I won't say that other phrase. Considering where I'm at. Starts with an S. Anyways, we'll just walk around here. We're looking for May Street, so hopefully it's this here on the left. According to the map they had, it seemed it would make sense because that other street was just too narrow and I didn't see it would make sense that the buses would go up it. And we'll just keep on walking and looks like a busy street coming up ahead. So maybe we'll be in luck. UK visas and immigration, main entrance. May Street, success. Get in there. Now we just have to find where they have the little booth to purchase the uh, ticket. And make my way back. Um, May Street. I'd say it's across there. I'll have to watch these cars, they're turning. And I'll go over to the. So, thanks for staying uh, with me. Uh, you can see it's getting a little bit darker now. I just got off the uh, bus. It was two pounds twenty. 
the bus is pretty packed but it runs between seven and nine minutes so it's very handy and it's easy to get around uh, you know from the west into the city center once you find your bearings which way is we east and west and uh, now if I keep on this way uh, about two or three stops worth I'd be out the B&B or the guest house I have to do the walk up but I'm gonna stop at that uh, pub for one pint of Guinness just to top it off I have the taste of onions in my mouth so I want to get rid of that and then I'll go to my place and relax have a nice pleasant evening there's a nice little motorbike eh? Jesus is packed there what is it free <laughs> <laughs> oh my god just busy wow. that's bad Oh, that's yeah. That's a nice moped, eh? Yeah. Jeez. All right. All right. Enjoy that. Jeez, I've never seen a barbershop that busy. And all right. Green light. Wait for it to turn. There's red, and there's the G1, so if I wanted to go back in towards town, just hop on one of those, and boom, you're in the city center for two euros, or two pounds, 20. Handier than a taxi. Taxi, would, God knows how much that would cost you. So, just keep walking up here, looking for the pub, have a pint of Guinness, and then go back to my place, relax, and get ready for tomorrow, which is Patty's Day. Paddy's Day in Falls Road and Belfast City. And then we'll figure out how we're gonna get home tomorrow. Um, there's a few options, the train and the bus. Now the price of the bus, uh, the train and the bus have all gone up, being a holiday and such, and they didn't, didn't plan ahead of time, so I don't really know what time to book it at. Um, like there is one for like three o'clock for a bus and a train or something around that. Um, the train will cost me, I think it was 31 pounds. And the bus you're looking at, um, I think it was about 18, 19 pounds, give or take, something like that. So that's not too bad. The bus goes right into the bus Aris. And then I could just jump on the, the bus Aris and get on home tomorrow evening sometime. Now I'll just keep walking up till I go to the pub. All right, so it's seven o'clock. I'm back in my room. I stopped off at a convenience store, got some of my provisions. I got some gummies, Doritos, Chili Waves, and of course the uh, Coke Zero. Came to three pounds seventy-four, and he threw in a bag, so it wasn't too bad. It was lashing down rain. 